thought he was upset with me. I was interested this, this afternoon when I was telling you about everybody had this great story of how much they enjoyed meeting Russ for the first time. Uh, that was not my experience. Uh, <clears throat> sometimes Russ would refer to me in, in, in a pleasant moment as his biggest mistake. <laughs> <laughs> that was because in 1973 I had been nominated to become the uh, director of the Census Bureau. And Russ saw fit to uh, challenge that nomination along with several other professional societies. Uh, and it was with, uh, so it was really helpful in some ways that he did that because his expectations of me were so low. That's what he finally met because I did really well. <laughs> the, uh, but we did meet, and it was uh, some 37 years ago, and it was the beginning of a a new way of thinking for me. Uh, now, there's no way to uh, repay Russ for the many sharp barbs that he was capable of uh, providing to, uh, to anyone, nor for his uh, patience in, uh, in teaching uh, me how to improve. But I did come close on, on both occasions, uh, on both events. So, once uh, here at, uh, at the University of Pennsylvania, it was a uh, large conference. We had a dinner at the Egyptian Museum, and uh, and I was asked to say a few words. And I got up and I saw Russ out there, and, and it, those of you who've been to the museum know there's a lot of really interesting statues, some of which with scratched heads and broken arms. And I said, I didn't know we were coming to the room that uh, maintained the results of Russ educa Russ's educational system. <laughs> <laughs> he laughed a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, when it came to uh, thanking him, uh, it was quite by accident that uh, I was at, at a uh, meeting with uh, Peter Drucker, and, uh, and I mentioned that if Peter asked me what I was doing on my next trip, I said, well, I was going out to Villanova and participate in an event uh, to celebrate Les's uh, 80th birthday. And he said, oh, he said, I knew Les Acoff. He says, oh, would you mind taking along a little message. And I said, well, sure. He said, well, I'll write one up and I'll send it to you. And I said, well, that was courteous of Peter to, uh, I didn't even know that Russ knew him or that he knew uh, Russ. And uh, so uh, across my desk comes this message from Peter Drucker to, uh, to Russ Acoff. And I would like to read it to you because in some ways there was no final tribute from one great teacher to another. He said, happy birthday and thanks, my warmest thanks, for your enormous contribution, and especially for the wonderful contribution to me of 50 years ago. I was then, as you may recall, one of the early ones who applied operations research and the new methods of quantitative analysis to specific business problems, rather than as they had been originally developed to military and scientific problems. I had led teams applying the new methodology in two of the world's largest companies. And AT&T. We had successfully solved several major production and technical problems for these companies, and my clients were highly satisfied. But I was not. We had solved technical problems, but our work had no impact on the organization and on their mindsets. On the contrary, we had all but convinced the management of those two big companies that quantitative manipulation was a substitute for thinking. And then your work. And your example showed us, at least it showed me, that quantitative analysis comes after the thing. It validates the thing. It shows up intellectual sloppiness and uncritical reliance on precedent, on untested assumptions and on the seemingly obvious. But it does not substitute for hard, rigorous, intellectually challenging thinking. It demands it, though, but does not replace it. This, of course, is what you mean by system. And your work in those faraway days thus saved me, and it saved countless others from either descending into mindless model building, the disease that all but destroyed so many business schools in the last decades, or from the sloppiness parading as insight. And thus I owe you profound thanks for a decisive breakthrough at a critical state 
in my development, and so do countless others. No finer tribute. Much better teacher, but 